Today we're going to talk about the parts of chemical equation. So here's an example of one. And we'll, I'll explain more about this as we go along. It represents the chemical reaction. What, is, what did you have at the beginning? Then the reaction occurs. And now what do you have at the end? All right. So in this particular case, we have sodium and water reacting to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. All right, so let's take a look at this video. All right, so that was kind of cool. So that's what happens when you mix sodium and uh, water together. So looking at the chemical equation, <clears throat> the things on this side of the arrow, so on the left, are the reactants. I, you've heard these terms before, but we're just going to apply them to a chemical equation now. The chemicals that you combine, what you start with, the ingredients, chemicals before the arrow, you don't have to write all that down. Just they yeah, the stuff you start with. So whatever phrase is going to make you remember that that's the reactants, then that's what you need. And on the right side of the arrow are the products, the things that are being produced, the re result of the reaction, the chemicals after the arrow. Um, so things react to produce something. So if you can remember the definitions of the terms uh, react and produce, then it makes sense. If there's a large number out in front of either the atomic symbol or um, a chemical formula, that is called the coefficient. Now notice over here, there's no coefficient. This is just like math. If you have an X or a Y, you know that that means one X or one Y. It's the same thing here. If there's no coefficient out here, you're assuming that it's a one. And what that represents is how many of that particle are involved in the chemical reaction. So I have two atoms of sodium, two molecules of water. I end up with two formula units of sodium hydroxide plus one molecule of hydrogen gas. Um, that's so it's just like it is in math. But notice, please, the coefficients always out in the front. You can't have a coefficient like inside a chemical formula. It's always to the left. All right, then we have these subscripts and they are smaller numbers. They, are, they come after a particular atom. So here I, with the sodium, there's no subscript. So you assume that it's one. Okay. So if there's no subscript, it's one. In water, there are two atoms of hydrogen for every atom of oxygen. So it's H2O. The two means there are two atoms of hydrogen. Same thing over here. So in this particular molecule, oh, formula unit, sorry, there's one sodium atom, one hydrogen atom, one oxygen atom in each of these molecules. Um, so the arrow means yields. That's what you say when you read it. Um, and it means that a chemical reaction occurs. 
that the reactants react to produce uh, the products. Okay, so those are the parts of a chemical equation. And let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.